Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Pisces, it's Dana. So I am... um feeling something these days, Pisces. Not sure what it is, but I've had the urge to read for about two days now, and I have a minute. So let's do it. Let's see what these cards have to say for this particular Pisces, whomever this is for. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me, Spirit. Ooh, I just got to stop right there, Pisces. I have the collective of Pisces with me, Spirit. Please tell me what they need to know. What's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, Eight of Swords in reverse on the bottom. Some kind of new perspective. Eight of Wands, possibly about some communication. Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Tower, and the Four of Cups. We'll take Strength in reverse, too. All on the bottom of the deck. That's going to make hella sense to you in a second. I first card out is the Four of Swords. Contemplation, reevaluation, coming to terms, getting a new perspective. The King of Swords, finding your truth because of some truth. The Four of Wands in reverse, some kind of upset. Princess of Wands, new beginnings, or new efforts, new opportunities. The Six of Swords, leaving some kind of mental behind. The Moon, your feelings. The King of Pentacles. Hmm, we'll see. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on right here, okay? This is what's going on. So, 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 so. Start out with the Four of Swords, right? This Four of Swords is the Pisces, okay? And it's saying either, okay, so either this has happened for you, is happening now, or will happen soon, okay? Put it in perspective. Four of Swords, contemplation, reevaluation, okay? This guy is coming to terms with the Three of Swords, grief, sorrow, and pain. Come into terms with it, okay? Picking up this fourth sword, bringing stability to his mindset, being air energy, okay? And pushing forward, king of swords, to make some serious, serious decisions. And the decisions that you have made or will make or should make, I should say, in this situation, okay? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse to the Queen of Wands in reverse. Your decision, somehow your decision has caused either financial distress or foundational. Let's just say foundational distress for someone else, all right? You finally got sick of some kind of bullshit here in this Four of Swords, hung it up on the wall, picking up that Fourth Sword, marching forward, making decisions in the King of Swords energy, right? And that decision caused someone else to have some kind of deficiency in their sense of well-being, all right? They are experiencing a lack of success with the Queen of Wands in reverse, but the Queen of Wands in reverse is also someone who is salty, 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 okay? So this person is salty that your decisions have caused them distress in their sense of well-being. And I got a clarifying card, the Six of Pentacles, right? The giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life. Your decisions have affected someone else's prosperity in some way okay okay so you know what it's saying is maybe you have not agreed to give someone uh, a loan maybe a family member a loan perhaps you have not agreed to let someone come live with you perhaps you have not agreed to uh, babysit the grandkids for a week while someone goes on vacation, perhaps you have not agreed to um, some kind of salary that's being offered in some kind of 
job or, or, or entrepreneurial situation and the other person, your decision to not accept the offer or go into business is causing them some kind of financial upset. It could be a bazillion things, okay? Perhaps you are a landlord in this King of Swords and you have tolerated and tolerated and tolerated and tolerated someone not paying their rent and all of a sudden you're like, you know what, screw this. We're not doing the Six of Pentacles together until you cough up some Pentacles and evicted them, okay? And now they're in upheaval. It could be literally anything for anyone because this is a general reading right if these were your cards we would know all of the dirty details but it's general so someone is pissed off because of some decisions that you've made all right four of wands in reverse this has caused this relationship to have um, an upset with the four of wands in reverse, okay? Judgment clarifies the four of wands in reverse and talks about, just like the king of swords, right? Drop dead serious, draw the line in the sand decisions. And that's what you came to terms with in the four of swords, right? Which caused this problem for this person, okay? All right. Princess of wands. Um, this is the message from you to them that you are not going to cooperate in this situation. And the Princess of Wands also talks about like your truth. It's 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 a it's a card about effort, right? And it's it's like you're 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 speaking your your truth, but your truth not from your mind, from your from your core, because it's fire energy, right? And the four of cups, contemplation and reevaluation. So this is you putting in the effort to contemplate and reevaluate how you have been dealing with this particular situation up to this point, drawing a line in the sand and saying, nope, 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 making a hardcore decision with judgment, okay? To, to do what? Six of swords, to leave something behind because whatever this is, this person I don't think is communicating with you or is um, retaliating somehow, some way, talking shit about you behind your back, whatever. But this person is not happy with you at all. Okay. So six of swords, you choosing to leave this behind, not entertain this, not care about some kind of egocentric, self-centered tantrum that someone is throwing, right? You're like, fuck this. I'm out. Six of Swords is the I'm out card, right? To the world card. This closes down some kind of long-standing cycle or behavior pattern in your life, either associated directly with this person or about a similar situations throughout your life, okay? You standing up to this says that it's closed now and now there is going to be a new phase of your life the new phase of your life of what of this judgment card right you are now going to go into the new phase of your life in a place of truth and judgment right i ain't taking nobody's bullshit i don't care what you think i owe you in life um, i'm not putting up with it to the chariot putting in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to do what you got to do, puts the chariot in motion. You cross the threshold of the world card. You step into the chariot. The chariot escorts you to the new leg of your journey. I want to point out the chariot seven also, right? Which is about contemplation, reevaluation, which is what happened in that four of cups right there. Okay. Four of cups is almost like an emotional aha moment. To the Eight of Wands, this changes everything. It catapults you in the direction of this new phase of your life with the world card. All right, the moon. But you struggle with this, right? It's interesting to me that the moon is right underneath the Four of Swords right there. Uh, yep, you can see. is right underneath that Four of Swords right there because this is the big, huge, gigantic internal struggle of that Three of Swords, right? And even though you're making this decision, it's still, you still struggle in your emotions about it. Nine of swords in reverse, because you don't want it to be like this. It doesn't have to be like this is what the nine of swords in reverse is saying. It doesn't have to be like this. And the magician comes on top of this and says, don't struggle in your emotions, just focus, brain it all in. The magician is about bringing the mind, the emotions, the sense of well-being, and the desires all into one place. 
and focusing like a laser beam control of those energies on the on the thing that you need or want to create in your life okay and that's what the magician is saying he's like no 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 stop with all of this okay you are manifesting a brand new chapter of your life by speaking your truth and standing up for this and making this decision that you made okay magician says manifest 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 through your truth your truth will set you free speak your truth own your truth and your truth will set you free and that's literally what the magician is saying now the veil is is not the 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 membrane it always reminds me of a grape really right you know how grape has that that thin skin around it right and if you very gently peel back the skin of the grape there's all of that goodness on the inside right so it always reminds me manifestation reminds me of a grape right you try in and you're trying or the universe is trying and trying but nothing can ever just quite get through to get to the good stuff because the mind membrane in this case is blocking it okay king of swords says no 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 don't you be sad in that moon card you own your truth so manifestation can come through in your life Knight of Cups in reverse, right? Your hurt feelings about it. Nine of Wands in reverse, talking about being overwhelmed by it. The Ace of Cups comes on top of it and says, no, 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 no. You need to use this as seeds for new emotional growth. This is a new chapter of your life. This is new emotional growth. The King of Pentacles, this is where you find your success. Ten of Wands in reverse, because you're dumping a burden that doesn't belong to you. Uh-huh. Okay. So the King of Pentacles, your success, right? And I asked, I said, is this the Pisces? And the Two of Wands came out and the Six of Wands came in reverse came out, both of them, right? So this is a yes, right? Because this person is worried about the future of this situation or this relationship. And this person is finding a lack of success. They, 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 they've conquered by owning their truth, but yet they feel that they haven't conquered anything because their feelings are so torn about this whole thing, okay? Whew. Ten of Wands in reverse. In the center of the reading, overwhelming burden, the Five of Pentacles. Um, somebody else's financial situation is not your burden to carry. Just not. Husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, job, sister, brother, friend, whatever. The someone's financial discord is not your burden to bear. Ace of Swords in reverse. And that's what you're not seeing crystal, crystal clear because that's why the moon card is right there, right? I want to ask one about this Ace of Swords in reverse. What's the Ace of Swords in reverse? What's the Ace of Swords in reverse? What's the Ace of Swords in reverse? The High Priestess. I kid you not. Pisces themselves, right? The high priestess says, what do your guts say? And this top row is what your guts told you to do or are going to tell you to do or you need to follow to do or whatever your thing is, however this hitting with you, okay? It's not your burden to carry someone else's financial deficit or, or deficit in their sense of well-being. And the Ace of Swords in reverse is not fully and completely seeing that because you're still struggling with those emotions. So the Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Princess of Swords in reverse. This is, this is an upset in your sense of well-being and the Princess of Swords in reverse is about you not communicating with this person at the time or anymore. Um, this is also a card about all talk, no action, undelivered promises and the Two of Pentacles in reverse talks about financial upset um, perhaps this person just isn't being responsible about their financial or well-being state. And then the King of Pentacles comes on top of this. It's the same King of Pentacles that's right there. It's like success, your success, your security, your life, your life, success in your life depends upon you seeing clearly that you can't carry this person. That's, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. To the Nine of Pentacles, and it's time for you to stand in your power. S keep standing in your power. Stand in your power. 
when this situation comes up, remember this reading. Maybe even go back and listen to it again and stand in your power. Stand in your power. Get your cards read too, right? Pathofpurpose.org. I'll read for you. I don't care what sign you are. All right. Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this. Nine of Pentacles, right? Stand in your power. Own yourself. Own this situation. Stand in your power. Eight of Cups. And realize that there is nothing to be had here. The Eight of Cups is about just, just keep it all. I just don't even, it's just, ugh, I just disgust it. But he, he walks into the Nine of Cups, right? Because he has the courage to take movement in his emotions with the Eight of Water, okay? And he, he knows that this just isn't going to cut it for him, right? Own your power and walk away from the King of Wands in reverse. Some kind of egocentric, self-centered, flesh-driven person. That's that Queen of Wands in reverse right there, right? Nine of Pentacles to the sun. See very, very clearly that the path to happiness, success, and vitality in your life is realizing that you can't get what you want to get in this situation because this person is incapable of exchanging with you, okay? To the hangman. Take a step back. Reevaluate the situation and come out on the other side with a new perspective. Queen of Swords in reverse because... In a way, in this moon card, right, you're in denial about what? The Two of Cups, this relationship between you and this person, right? You told this person no somehow, and now they are ultra pissed because they're finding themselves being held accountable for getting themselves in this situation in the first place, and they're pissed about it, right? And the wheel in reverse to the king of wands in reverse says the blockage in your life in this situation is your lack of ability to call a spade a spade. All right. This person is some kind of narcissist and you you're not calling a spade a spade. All right. Six of Wands, victory, progress, success to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Upset in the home, the family, the finances. Hold up a minute. To the Nine of Swords, anxiety, despair. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse again to the Ace of Swords in reverse. Is causing upset in the home, the family, the finances. What this says is that for you to have success, what you have to understand is you carrying this person in whatever way that you're carrying this person, and now have decided to say, uh uh, no more, it stops, has caused you financial upset, upset in your sense of well being all the way around. Nine of Swords, Anxiety, Despair, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, to the Ace of Swords in reverse, not seeing clearly. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, please. To the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, right on. Okay, this also represents this person, um, I think, has cut you off. I think you're in the icebox. I think this person has cut you off, and you're not maybe understanding completely and totally what, why this person is so pissed about this situation. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Nine of Wands. Fight the good fight. Hold top row right there. Fight the good fight. This is resilience, persistence, and, and taking the bull by the horns. Right? This guy is like, no more. Don't even, I dare you. Okay? To the star. Because the way that you have done in this situation is in your best and highest good. Because you feel it in your guts with the high priestess. And that's always your soul leading you to your best and highest good. And this person has either done this or this is the advice to, the you, to you is to do this. Okay, your path, your purpose, renewal, judgment is about rebirth, right? This is the world card, new phase of your life, the king of pentacles, success, success, success. But carrying this person, the success can't come through. Okay, chariot, again, put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to do what you got to do, two of wands, to step into your future the way that the high priestess right there is guiding you to do. 
justice in reverse. This situation is not in your best interest. Um, justice in reverse is also about a lack of accountability. This person has a lack of accountability for sure. And you would have a lack of accountability if you didn't follow the guts of the high priestess. Okay. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Unmet expectations. Perhaps this person doesn't want to work. Um, perhaps um, this is about can't work it out, can't work on it to the Wheel of Fortune. But don't you worry. This is a turning point. It's a turning point in your relationship. It's a turning point in this situation. It is a turning point in you possibly learning to follow your intuition. It's a turning point all the way around, a turning point. Coming to terms and understanding that this person cannot consume from you anymore holding this person accountable for their own actions, for their own finances, for their own sense of well-being is not only opening the door for you to step into the next phase of your life, but it gets you out of the way so this person can experience their journey, right? I mean, we're all here as much as we want to help the people that we love and care for, okay? As much as we want to do that, sometimes that results in the interference of their own growth and their own journey. We are enabling them to circumvent their own journey by not paying the consequences um, in their own journey. Mm hmm interesting very very interesting so bottom of the deck bottom of the deck strength in reverse right succumbing succumbing to the 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 moon card right i mean it's like oh this should have been in the center of the reading succumbing to that emotional struggle Okay, it's so coming to that emotional struggle. The Four of Cups, contemplate and reevaluate what's going on here. Listen to the, the, the movement of, of spirit inside of you, to the tower. Um, because what you want to build in this relationship can't be built in this situation anyway. So understand that the crumbling of this was faulty foundation in the first place. Okay, all right. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Self-protection to the Prince of Swords. Communication and the Eight of Swords in reverse. New perspective. What's the Prince of Swords right there? The Tower in reverse. Okay, so it's not communication, okay? What it is is saying wrap your mind around an understanding and execute it in your life. The Tower in reverse. And use this Tower right? Use this tower situation to have a personal transformation, eight of swords in reverse, with a new perspective. What's the new perspective in reverse? The devil, I kid you not, right? Release your limiting beliefs. It's an attachment that's a restriction to your growth. What's your limiting beliefs? That you need to be responsible for this person, that you owe this person, that uh, you, you are supposed to be supporting this person, whatever this drain is on your life, Pisces. Um, it needs to stop and either someone has already done that or when this situation comes up your advice for success in the situation is to go ahead and do that i hope that helps someone namaste who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose. With self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul.
Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free.